Okay, so I'm going to try and show you how to draw some of these muscles of facial expression because I find that drawing is a great way to form memories. You don't have to be super detailed with your drawing because what's important is that you're practicing you're creating a spatial memory. Okay. And so we're going to start here with the orbicularis oculi muscles that originate in the medial orbits and insert onto the eyelids. Orbicularis oculi. Orbicularis meaning round muscle. Oculi meaning eye. Orbicularis oculi. Okay, so this muscle has an origin of the medial orbit, its insertion is the eyelids, its action is to close the eyes, and its nerve supply, the innervation, comes from cranial nerve 7, that is the facial nerve. And the facial nerve is going to innervate all of the muscles of facial expression. So we can draw another muscle of facial expression. This one also a circular shaped muscle. So it's an orbicularis. And around the mouth, this is the orbicularis oris. So it originates from the maxilla and mandible and inserts on the lips. Orbicularis oris originates from the maxillae and mandible inserts on the lips and it has the action of closing the lips you can say they purse the lips which is the movement that you'd make if you were getting ready to give someone a kiss. Okay. And so those are our round muscles, the orbicularis oculi around the eyes and the orbicularis oris around the mouth. Next, let's take a look at the muscles that pull down on the lower lip. We have originating from the mandible, the depressor anguli oris. So oris again means mouth. And because these muscles pull down on the angles of the mouth, they are the depressor anguli oris. So the depressor anguli oris originates from the mandible and inserts on the corner of the mouth. 
have the action of depressing the angles of the mouth. So depressing the angles of the mouth or frowning. Okay. Now there's one more muscle that we want to study in detail here that is going to also insert onto the lips. This is the depressor labii inferioris. So the depressor labii inferioris is also originating from the mandible. But this muscle originates from the man mandible just medial to our mental foramen. So I'll put in our mental foramen of the mandible so that you can see that our depressor labii inferioris it's an R inferioris which originates from the medial part of the mandible and inserts onto the lower lip will have the action of depressing the lip. Okay, and so those are all of the muscles that will go through a detailed look at the origin, insertion, and action. Let's go ahead and draw on a few other muscles just to get a more complete picture. This muscle here is the frontalis. Frontalis is going to raise the eyebrows. And it connects to a broad band of connective tissue, essentially a broad tendon called the epicranial aponeurosis. Which is just a broad band of connective tissue on the cranium. So epicranial is on the cranium. Aponeurosis is basically a broad tendon, and this is the broad tendon of the frontalis muscle. It also connects around to the posterior, to the occipitalis muscle, and sometimes people group those together and call them the occipitofrontalis, and so this could be the frontal belly of the occipitofrontalis, but I'll just call it the frontalis. And so we have a few muscles that are the counterparts of our depressor anguli oris and our depressor labii inferioris. And so pulling up Superiorly, we have levator labii superioris. And so the levator labii superioris are just performing the opposite action of the depressor labii inferioris and so they're superior rather than inferior levator labii superioris is superior and the levator or the, I'm sorry, depressor, 
because it will pull inferior the depressor labii. Inferioris is inserting onto the inferior lower lip. The levator labii superioris is inserting onto the superior or upper lip. Now we also have muscles that originate from the zygomatic bone, zygomatic bone here, and come down onto the angle of the mouth. So these are our zygomaticus muscles. And so we have a, a wider major zygomaticus, which is lateral here to the zygomaticus minor. So let's see if I can make that clear. Zygomaticus major here and zygomaticus minor here. minor because it's smaller and it also happens to be medial and the major which is lateral to the minor is larger so zygomaticus major and zygomaticus minor are originating from the zygomatic bone and coming down to insert onto the superior angles of the mouth where they're going to contribute to smiling. Okay, it looks like we've got a fairly complete drawn here. I'll just throw in the buccinator muscles here, our trumpeter muscles that compress the lips, helps with suckling or sucking on a straw buccinator that means trumpeter because playing the trumpet would require you to have strong buccinator muscles okay and that's just to show you that you can practice drawing these muscles at home and it will help you develop a spatial memory of where these muscles are laid out on the face. Now remember all of these muscles are excited by cranial nerve number seven. That's the facial nerve which stimulates the contraction of all of the muscles of facial expression.